time. One might say I need my morning coffee. <laughs> oh, oh, sad. Anyway, <clears throat> Prince of Persia 2003. Good lord. Old game. Prince of Persia Sands of Time. 81% done. Probably the finale today. More than likely. Which reminds me, I gotta start putting this up on YouTube. Has been a bit. Oh god, I am so low health, I gotta get water. Some sand would be nice too, but, you know, priority is currently water. And I see none of it on the floor. That is concerning. Arg, what's up? Look like a lift of some sort. Water. Oh, thank goodness. Whew! Okay. Slurp it up there, Prince. Alrighty. Stocked up, ready to go. What do we have? We have this button. Mm-hmm. Great. Love it. That probably lets me do some of this. Nice. Okay. Get my brain into this. Uh, getting four water is priority. Also fine dandy as usual. Good to hear. I mean, yeah. Four water. Uh, palace water. Bath water. Some sort of water. Preferably that has, like, gross creatures living in it. The minerally, the better. Like I said, the tingling you get from drinking that floor water means it's working. I just fall down. Oh, damn. I think I got there when I did. No, Prince, I just I need you to just move the bin. Watch this one shoot. Yep, there it goes. What is that about, I wonder? Why does it just fly from the... Uh... It's got to be like... I think, because I'm pretty sure this game was updated frame rate wise for the PC, on Steam's release anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure that the pushing has to do with, um, like, it's falling from a platform is tied to the frame rate. How am I doing? Uh, I'm partially deaf in my left ear, uh, since last time we chatted and spoke. So, you know, that's fun. Went to clean my ears, and ears were having none of it, so now I got blockage or swelling or something going on in my left ear. It's super. Best thing in the world. But, you know, other than that, I'm doing fine. Well, actually, birds just showed up, so you know what? I could be better. Camera. <laughs> Pretty sure the cameraman's in league with the birds. What the hell, game? Christ. This is unplayable. I can't tell when they're attacking. I can't tell shit. Hope you... I don't even think you could get motion sick from this. It's too fast. Um, could you shoot them for me? I'd appreciate it. Okay, it seems like it's calmed down a bit. Hopefully now it's just one bird. There we go. Okay, alright. Do you mind if I run back and get some floor water? Well, fountain water, but whatever. That, uh... That could've used some work. Oh, this game. Part of me is gonna miss this game. The old shirtless prince running around. I say miss it. I'll be playing, well... I'll be playing a game everyone says, Yeah, it's alright. Story sucks, but the combat's great. Relatively soon here. No more heroes after this. The story of ultimate weeb sad boy Travis Touchdown, who fully believes he's the coolest dude in the world. And you know what? At least he, can, he knows his way around a laser sword. 
I'm a partially deaf in your left ear. Seems like game unleashed a glitch attack. I think that was the camera trying to lock on to all the enemies at once. Um, yeah, like I said, I was trying to clean my ear and, uh, in doing so, pushed some wax up against the, uh, eardrum and, uh, yeah, no, I've got saline drops to try and dissolve the wax, but it's a, it's a slow process, so we're gonna, like, give it another day or two before, uh, before I seek medical help, because the medical help I saw it told me give it a day or two before you go seeking more medical help. What you mean, no? <laughs> he was like, come with me, please, and she said no, and funny enough, I didn't hear the rest of what she said, but what the hell? I'm very curious about this place, be it real or fictional. Yeah, so despite no one asking for No More Heroes, I really want to play No More Heroes and its sequel. Before, uh, 3 comes out, got myself refreshed on it in the old noggin. How long have I been here? Gone? What are you talking about? Never mind. Hmm. Curious, curious. Anyway. Hardly matters, I suppose. Interesting that that's the first time we've, uh, that's where I came from. It's, uh, it's cool that's the first time we've actually, uh, done that when she's nearby. And she acknowledges it. The game acknowledges that she's standing right there. Be careful. Of what? Not everything can trap you. Really? In this place? Alrighty. Well, that's comforting. Hmm. This is just so comforting, isn't it, Farah? Not everything's a trap. There he goes! Just Tokyo drifting around. Oh, hey, people to... Oh, great. People to fight in the spinny room. It's always a trap, Night Stalker. Ever played No More Heroes? Can't really ask for it. That's true. Point is, I notice my streams seem to do better when I play games. People are like, could you play this one? Or, you know, it's Danganronpa. That really brings out people for whatever reason. People love their Danganronpa. Ow. All right, well, listen, boys, boys. No, there we go. All right, well. He gets to live another minute or two. Come on, man. I'm just trying to stab your buddy. Shouldn't be that difficult. But no, it should be fun. No more heroes is uh, a jolly romp. Plenty to laugh about, plenty to enjoy. Alright, no, not doing that. <sighs> Apparently I am doing that, I apologize. Where are you going? There we go. Ah, of course. As soon as you drop your guard, they do that. Always the way. No? Come on, man. Uh, I don't want to jump over this guy. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Boy, once I figured out the instant kill on these guys, game way better. Shit. Okay. That's. Uh, the only problem is when you do that, the freeze them. I do not die here. It's true. When you freeze them, you lose the ability to rewind time, which is super annoying. Good thing they put water here, I guess. Ah, anyway. I am I mean, I'm in. Do you want to get started? There we go. I'm hoping to get the slide going again. There it is. Whee! <laughs> I love it. 
Whee! Not quite as fast as the other one time. Ah, well. Can't all be fun and games for the prince. <laughs> Mocks her, too. Oh, not everything's a trap. God damn it. Camera, please. Gotta work with me here. I was trying to read Arg's comment there. Dinganrump has a fun game. As for streams doing better, uh, well, when you stream game others have played, they give hints and shit be more thematically involved. I mean, I guess. I like seeing streams of games I haven't played. Because I can be like, ooh, that's what this game's all about. It's a new experience for me. Wish you wouldn't waste the... Okay. Really wish you wouldn't waste the, uh... The sand stabs on guys you can, uh... Flip over. Also, wish you'd stop hitting her. Oh, boy. Uh, fatal frame or... Wait, Kate... I assume Kate based on Q8. Hello, what's up? Playing Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. And this elevator section is kicking my ass, so, you know. That's how my day is going. How's your day going? I also based assume on your name that you're, uh, enjoy Fatal Frame. Quality game. Quality series, you know, except for the, except for the 3DS one and the fifth one, and it's a shame that fourth one never got ported. But you know, other than that, really, it's also a shame none of uh, none of the ones except for two ever got a re-release. But you know, other than that, it's a great series. Uh, I forget who owns Fatal Frame, but they are uh, they could be doing a little bit better with their series, you know. would be very funny if you had no idea of anything about the Fatal Frame series, and you're like, this happens every time, I just, I'm named Fatal, fr fa fa Framer Fatal. Nothing to do with the series. Missed word and between shit, B saw and B, okay. I mean, I got what you were saying anyway, Arg. It's fine. Can you leave her alone? Please. And don't sh- Oh, yeah, you know what? Hit her all you want. Shoot me in the face, will you? Ugh. <sighs> I'm sort of hoping you can handle one dude on your own, even if it- okay, they're all- well, they're not all over here, but some of them are over here. Can you stab the guy on the ground, Prince? Nope, apparently we can't. Just gonna rewind a bit. I'm a big fan of Fatal Frame. Good to hear. I think Konami owns it. Which, you know, doesn't bode well for the series as a whole, but hey, you know. They used to make good games. So maybe there's hope for Fatal Frame yet. You never know. Unless it's not Konami. Oh no, it's not Konami, is it? It's um, isn't it Team Ninja these days? Of all people making those games. Or are they just publishing them? Or did they only do the most recent one? Or did they only do four? I really can't remember. I know they did four for a fact, because, um, the one girl from Dead or Alive made it in. 
Or that, sorry, that was five. Uh, the one on the Wii had, um, Zero Suit Samus. Wait, should I think about it? Yeah, it was also Team Ninja. They had a Zero Suit Samus outfit for at least one of the girls. But not enough about Fatal Frame. We're here to talk about Prince of Persia and how my ass is getting royally beat. Very appropriate for a prince, I might add, but you know, can't say I'm a fan of it. <sighs> I just wanted to eat his soul. Come on, guys. I don't know where they're coming from. I'd love to find out, though. Send them back. Huh, <sighs> Tecmo. Yeah, okay. It's Kawaii Tecmo. Or just Tecmo at this point, I think. Might have lost the Kawaii part. Cheated on that when I'm on a different layer, but whatever. Meerkat longest. I mean, it's an early 2000s game. You gotta have an elevator segment. What are you doing if you just don't have an elevator segment? You're really supposed to have a chase scene too, but you know, I think I've heard future Prince of Persia games have chariot races, so we're kind of forgiving this one for lacking them at the moment. They get they gotta stop showing up though, man. Jesus. Really sick of them at this point. I think someone swept the leg on that one. Meanwhile, I'm just just trying to not die, actually, if it's it's okay with you, game. No, I'm dead immediately. Wow, I am in a great position. Another game never played but heard about. Can either one of you give me a quick rundown of it? Uh, depends on the game. The sort of large overview is you have a spooky camera that can take pictures of ghosts and you're trying to take pictures of all the ghosts so that they go away forever. That's really the only... Like, there's a couple of recurring things, very Japanese, you're usually a, uh, a woman, I believe, in the games, if not in every game. But, uh, take pictures of ghosts to stop them from killing you and solve some mystery of an ancient cult. Each game depends on, you know, who you are and which cult mystery you're solving this time, but the camera always comes back. I don't think any of the games have... Alright, thanks, I'll, I'll take it. Hammer guy, you and me. We'll solve this elevator ride together. Alright. Uh, I saw that. Yeah, it was absurd. Uh, longest elevator ride. You should see his fight with Pops. Oh yeah, the, uh, the fight against the king. That took roughly an hour. Maybe this year we'll have something for Fatal Frame in its 20th anniversary. Is it 20 years old, the first game? I guess the first game was PlayStation 2, so yeah, that checks out. Fatal Frame has different endings. Well, yes, obviously. Take pictures of ghosts, make them go away. Yeah, more or less. I should use this time to get water. And yeah, they all have good and bad endings, but I mean, I'm not going to spoil the endings. My point is, I don't think the stories are connected to each other by characters. I think it's just the camera. I don't remember the first game. Obviously, you didn't play any of these games, Token. No, no, no. I don't remember the first game very well, but the second game is your two girls in a village having to run around, uh, taking pictures with the camera of Obscura. Well, you're a girl trying to save your sister from a cult. In the third game, you're the older woman in the apartment, right? Fourth game, you're in an abandoned school on an island. I think it's a school. And the fifth game is that stupid one where you have to go to the mountain all the damn time. I, I, it's been a while, but I know the games. There was also a terrible 3DS one that was like a VR sort of thing. No idea how I get to this lever. I'm trying to, like... There we go. Had a decent wall run up. 
I think one and three actually might be related, now that I think about it. Sort of like Silent Hill. But no. Our glass is nearby. I can feel it. Lots of themes are uh, recurring and similar in Fatal Frame, it. but the characters, I think, are mostly different. Not a fan of the game. Uh, I have mixed opinions about them. I think the atmosphere is very good. I think the camera mechanic isn't executed very well. I think it could be done a lot better. Also, a mission in Sly 2 that is sort of based on Fatal Frame. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. You, uh, you take pictures of ghosts. I mean, I guess if you count that as based on Fatal Frame. Unless you're referring to Prince of Persia. In which case, I have never played the Prince of Persia games. Uh, I like this one. Done. I'll start the story from here. The combat could definitely use some work, but, you know, otherwise it's a perfectly fine game. Perfectly fine is underselling it. This is a great game, except for the combat. Combat is weak. The first three games are connected. Oh, are they? I did not know that. To be fair, I, I will say I've never played the first one. I know basically nothing about the first one, other than that I assume the camera obscura is in it. Um, yeah, the I'm more familiar with the games after that one. Uh, four is not. Yeah, I know. I know four was its own thing. You're like, your girl's in a school on an abandoned island. Well, it's an abandoned school on an island. Speed games where dudes running around with cameras. Outlast games are very good. Uh, the first one and the, its DLC are quite good. Can't say I'm a fan of Outlast two. Fifth one's connected. Ah. Huh. I will say the story is never. Uh, it's always just been there for me. I'm really playing it for the, the gameplay more than anything else, which is... Okay. Oh, this guy, yeah. Jafar McBad guy. Well, he kept your pants. And the woman. Everything. Boy, he's overselling it. <clears throat> that was the first cutscene we'd had in, like, hours. You were there. That voice sinking. In your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers. All they can do is fight. Destroy. Why did I trust you? Why didn't you trust me? Game's waiting to catch up there with the audio. Oh, sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. It's very Jafar esque, especially that scepter. Yeah, turban, beard. He's Persian. Ah. <clears throat> It's bad they delayed the remake. Uh, better graphics. I can handle it. Of this game? Yeah. I started this game, and like the next day I heard that a remake was coming in March. And I was like, oh, well. Kind of wish I had waited. But, you know, what are you gonna do? You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. Thrilling cutscene. And we are together. Are we are we having weird dark sand sex? What's going on? I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. Okay, there we are. Jeez. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do Tara? was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. That's cool. Later. Childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kako Yukia. Ka 
Jar are Persian and not Arab, they'd be uh, very... They would be Vasir from this game. Ah, yeah. He needs a parrot, the guy in this game. Everyone needs a parrot, though, to be fair. Now the music's kicking up. So... Maybe it's because I was so focused on the lip syncing and just that, you know, 15 seconds of dust. The fuck happened in that cutscene? Where'd Farrah go? Where am I going? Where am I in a yet another bathhouse? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't what beautiful? Where are you? I'm looking for you. Not a fan of all the paths here. Okay. Uh I'm right here. This one, I guess, because it's moving? Para? Or is that where I came from? Shit. That's where I totally where, where I came from. Alright. <clears throat> Going for pirate aesthetic, you need a parrot. You gonna watch a live action movie of Prince of Persia? Uh probably not. Where are you? I mean, nothing against Jake Gyllenhaal, but wasn't it just kind of whatever? Oh, we at this part. It, okay, I'm, I'm going to level with you guys. If this relies on sound, I, there's an issue because I'm partially deaf in this ear currently. I'm looking for you. So I can only hear from this one. So... Yeah, if this puzzle relies on sound... Uh, yeah, I, I gotta say, the puzzles in this game, people are really not too hot on. I got to the moonbeam segment and they were like, oh, okay, don't worry, this is the only time you do this. It doesn't make any sense. Just get through it. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I, I get it. It's like that one puzzle from Evil Within 2 where I have to find the right damn door. But see, in that one I looked in a mirror and could find out which one was lit up. Where are you? Here I am. Uh, it took me a bit to solve this. What do you want from me? Is there something about the stat... Oh, I can't really get a good look at the statues, the problem. Unless it's, like, pointing that way, so... Nope. How in the... Hmm. Alright, there's a face up there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, Farrah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing face, okay. Something to do with the water? Doesn't seem like it, hmm. Where are you? Is I? I'm here. I'm told, yeah, for video game movies, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's, you know. There's water here. Why is there water here? Does the water last? Is it this one because there's water in front of it? Farrah, where are you? Hey, look at that. Yep. Okay. Here's the water door. Farrah? I'll assume that's all I need to do. So we take it back. What are you talking about? Where are yep. you? Okay. There we go. I'm here. Love the movie. Too bad it didn't Where sell well. You? Uh, there is a puzzle similar to this one in Devil May Cry 4. I seriously hated that puzzle. I don't. I didn't play Devil May Cry 4. I skipped that one. To be fair, I've only actually played Devil May Cry 1 and 5. Which is weird. I have the HD collection for Xbox 360. I've just never touched it. But I played the first one on PS2. And played the most recent one on PC. Oh god, how many floors of there are this? This is getting ridiculous. <sighs> Alright. Who are you talking to? It seems like once I figured out the puzzle, it shouldn't be this tedious. 
with the water and everything. Uh oh. There we go. Ah. Can you hear me? Don't you want to touch me? Farah? <clears throat> oh, okay, there we go. The ostrich racing completely not in the game. What, in four? There was ostrich racing? Beautiful. Oh, damn, we got sexy times in a tub. Or do you mean in Prince of Persia? Okay, yeah, there's ostrich racing in Prince of Persia. Why are there ostriches in Persia? Isn't that like an Australian thing? Or did they just really want to reference the game Joust? Yo, I think she's naked, but I'm wearing pants, so that's weird. The <laughs> Movies about video games always fail to adapt to the story. Yeah, they're different mediums. They just don't work. I don't know why people keep thinking they need to do it either. It was a dream. And it was a dream we both shared. Well, fuck, my shit's gone, so. She's not naked, she still had her wrist guards on. That's true. Twitch don't ban me. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, well. I don't have any weapons. I gotta go. No sands of time either, so I can't, you know, save my ass if I die. Uh, it means puzzle in Devil May Cry 4, not the HD collection. Hasn't even been two days with her. This might be the second day with her. Alright. Wow. No going that way. Got it. Maybe a warning before you kill me, game? Consider that. Anyway, no, there are, there's a few video game uh, movies that are not bad. Uh, the first Hitman with Timothy Oliphant I thought was pretty good. I'm told Silent Hill, the first one, is pretty good. Uh, the Phoenix Wright movie is generally considered uh, a classic. Okay, so we got mirrors going this way, so I probably want... Hmm. Where do I want these mirrors going, though, is the question. Into the thing. Oh, no, I want it hitting. I want it hitting there. Got it. Well, in that case, I want. Well, I, I want that mirror, but. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. See, I think I've got to shoot it around. No, that won't do. Hmm. So that mirror puts it that way, but then it would just turn it back that way. Or no. Hmm. Aren't these mirrors? Those might be mirrors. Hmm. What can I do? It's coming from in there, so... Move it a bit further down down hmm <clears throat> not a clue water puzzle got it this brain fried not a chance in hell so this doesn't do anything right just for my my own clarity this this mirror will do nothing if I shove it here yeah, okay. That's what I thought. But I can put it, like, down here. And then bring this over a bit. Which makes this adjustable to a degree. But to what end, I wonder? So now I can pull you down. But then I just shoot you off into the distance, so that doesn't really work. Unless these are mirrors? Is this a mirror? Or isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, that is a mirror. Okay, okay. Which means it's now shooting over there. And that does nothing. Cool. Awesome. Hmm. So I can direct them into the mirrors. Okay, that changes my game plan here. You up there. And you... Let's move you that way. Because now, there we go. Okay, got it. Makes sense. That solved my problems. Okay, doesn't kill me now. Got it. Hot new sword, hot new sword, ladies and gentlemen. How many sword upgrades? Seriously. At first I thought I was just going to get like a new sword so I didn't have two knives. It's like now I have a knife and a sword. I'm Ratchet and Clank over here. <laughs> Bitch. Also very polite of the skeleton men to not like chase me in here. Listen to Yuri Lowenthal, Farah. For God's sakes. That man is a treasure. He was Vash the Stampede, I'll have you know. Or is that... My bad, that's Johnny Young Bosch. <laughs> Oops. Alright, if we find Johnny Young Bosch. Damn! One hit? Oh, fuck. Alright, never mind. I'll shut my mouth about sword upgrades. I'm just dropping fools. Holy hell. Excellent. More combat, please. Okay, well, I take it back. As little combat as you can, but damn, son, still. This is an awesome weapon. Wish I had that the whole time. Alright. That's some endgame weapon right there. Uh, climb up. Climb up. Uh, surprise, more climbing up. Uh, more climbing up. A lot of climbing up. Okay. Got it. We're headed up. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Thanks, Visions. Anything down here? Or am I just completely crazy. No, I can definitely go this way. But to what end, I wonder? Watch this be the way to go. I'm just extremely, uh, perceptive today. <laughs> For whatever reason. I wish you would just jump straight up there, Prince. There we go. That's the spirit. Yep, that was just the way to go. Cool. Glad I saw it, though. That would have been quite the search otherwise. Whee! Whee! Alrighty. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold the phone. What what what? What was the point of that? Wait a minute. My bad. My bad entirely. I don't have the dagger anymore. Oops. No, 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 that didn't happen All right. Well, hold on a second. I got to see what the point of this room is other than, you know, tricking me to my death. Ah. <clears throat> Okay. Seems it's still open. Could have just... Aha! This door. Okay. Now we got it. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that was my bad. 
But hey, I found it. sounds like she's saying shall die while she's whispering sweet nothings to me which is concerning to say the very least okay well just jump up there prince prince just, do you have to okay there we go Wee. Oh, wee. okay now we're good that's better sure i'll save since i'm here you know while i'm in the neighborhood Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Wee. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Immediate uh, point of no return. I wonder how big the health bar gets. Is it like Goofy in Kingdom Hearts where that can, like, cover the entire screen at one point? This way? Yes! I would not have suspected that. I gotta move down a little bit, I think. Yep. Okay, well... that That's annoying. Breaks over, I have to get back to work take care. Good luck, Night Stalker. You stalk those knights. I assume that's your job. I'm just picturing someone who is like, I'm a night stalker, but stalker is spelled S-T-O-C-K. Work in warehouse. Ah, so you are a night stalker. I'll assume you have the night shift and you stock shelves. Ah. All right, I gotta scooch all the way over here. No shame in that. I was a night stalker myself. Worked warehoused at Best Buy. During holiday rush, too. It was busy. Not this most recent holiday, obviously. Back in 2019? 2018? It was around then. Morning shift. Ah, well. I was always night guy because they need people to unload the trucks. Which I was there for. Hmm. This seems like a rough, uh... Rough go- oh, Okay, well. They cut to a hot dramatic angle just for that. Did work night shift, though. Not doing that again messed me up. Eh, I prefer night shift. I'm graveyard, though. What am I talking about? I work, like, 6 p.m. to... 2 a.m. Which is absolutely graveyard. They're just ignoring her. God damn it. Uh, uh. That guy got fucked. Also, yeah, seriously, don't use up all the sand. We need that shit. I think I can still block. Boy, if combat were like this the entire game, I wouldn't have had an issue. He's also not sheathing it back there. I think it's clasped, but whatever. Yeah, there's no sheath for that blade. All right, climbing, more climbing. Lots of climbing, more climbing. Whole lot of climbing. Some sick flips, ladders for climbing. And then I take my sword and run forward, got it. Done. 
I'll okay. start the story from here next time. Alrighty. Get myself some nice health. There we go. Okay, well. Uh, hmm. Can I wall? No, I cannot wall run. That's a shame. Hmm. Then how do I? I might be able to make that jump. Oh, wow. Okay. Really didn't think I could make that. Uh, there we go. Okay. Sure. That worked out. We're going to we're going to assume that was my plan the whole time. Alrighty. Oh god. Bats. As soon as you put the knife away, they all come swarming back. Ah, yeah, I can't knock me into the pit now. Bastards. Okay, so obviously, can I? Okay, nope, can't go that way. Meant to. That was that was one hundred percent planned. <clears throat> Finish the game of Prince of Persia Collection on the PS3. I wasn't aware they did that. Is that all the? Uh, I guess what games are in that is my question. I imagine it's this San this is Sands of Time. Twin Blades and Two Thrones, I think the three games are. Does it have any of the others, I guess, is the main question. Like the one nobody likes, the other one nobody likes, the first one, and Forgotten Sands. Goddamn bats. Alright, this is... <laughs> Fine, they went away. I'm happy with that. That is entirely, entirely agreeable. Twin Blade, surely you mean Warrior Within. Yep, that's what I mean. Warrior Within and Two Thrones. Okay, so it's just those three. I can see skipping the one that nobody liked, the other one that nobody liked, and the first one, but... I don't know, it seems a little bit odd that they would, uh, skip Forgotten Sands, unless it wasn't out yet. It's possible. It's also possible that game was an Xbox exclusive when it dropped. I remember seeing all the posters for it and the movie tie-in were, uh, Xbox-related things. Remember that one episode of, um, I think it was CSI Miami? Infamous for, um... I think it was one of the CSIs. It might not have been Miami, but um, the same one where they uh, there's that famous scene where uh, they're playing Second Life and it's like, that's the guy we need. Follow him. And so there's like a hoverboard chase within Second Life to track a guy, even though that's not at all how avatars work. It's not physical proximity or anything. He could have just, A, the guy could have just logged out and B, you don't need to be near him to fucking hack it backwards to find his IP address. That's ridiculous they also very famously have that one scene where it's like help me hack this thing so there's two people using the same keyboard i think there's a scene where like a guy is playing prince of persia forgotten sands and just in the middle of, of the fourth level of the game it hard crashes to what appears to be a windows 7 desktop where all of the files are just hidden that reveal his evil plan it was like a ridiculously shameful cash in that was handled poorly because no one on that show understood how video games work. To a laughable degree. I'm sure they had other examples, but no. Two people using the same keyboard to quote-unquote hack better. Uh, a person physically chasing down somebody in Second Life... To, you know, locate him because physical proximity is all you need and the hacker didn't just log off. 
uh, and sands of time crashing to a Windows de desktop while playing on the Xbox, mind you. It wasn't like a special Xbox or anything. They just they were going through his stuff, found a copy of Prince of Persia, played to level four, and it crashed to a Windows desktop. <laughs> just tech Twin Blades. It's a simple beat 'em up game. Yeah, I was gonna say Twin Blades is a thing, right? I at least know something about the name Twin Blades. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, for God's sakes. That didn't happen. Yeah, I know it didn't happen, Prince. We all... Oh, my God. I'm all the way back here. We all wish that, you know, that one episode of CSI where they play you until, like, level four didn't happen. Even if that is how video games work, what terrible security, right? Uh, yeah, just play Prince of Persia on Forgotten Sands on any old crummy-ass Xbox. And, uh, voila, you've hacked my system. It wasn't like they needed to do anything secret or anything. It's just, yeah, play it on an Xbox. Although, imagine if that was your password every time you needed to access your top-secret files... Hold on a second. Let me just let me just play Prince of Persia for a bit here. Wait, that's not right. Takes me like forty minutes to get to my live journal, but you know, there you go. So while I'm dead on the ground here, let me look up Twin Blades. I mean, it's a film. Never played it. No idea what I'm looking at. Where'd the sand go? Uh, fucking Farrah st stole my dagger and ran off with it. So I can't rewind time anymore. Which is really a shame when you've got, you know, precision platforming like this. Alright, fair enough. You want to raise the stakes and make me not mess up. A checkpoint system would have been nice. I, I was basically at the end there and they started me all the way back at this, this particular uh, checkpoint, I guess, for lack of a better word. Jesus. Come on, Prince. Okay, there we go. Is that even the right way or am I going? Okay, yeah, it is this way. Ah, bats. That was a good swipe for the bats. Twin Blades may be a thing. The best of my knowledge, Twin Blades bears no relevance to Prince of Persia. It does not. It looked like a old, like, 360 as, uh, as Fatal Framer there said, uh, just sort of generic beat-em-up game. Never heard of it. Maybe I'm thinking the movie. I don't know where I got Twin Blades from. Maybe it's because I've seen the cover of the game and he's holding two swords. And I'm like, oh, obviously, it's Twin Blades and uh, two thrones. But yeah, no, it's Warrior Within. I am not the person to ask about uh, Prince of Persia games. I This is the first one I've ever played. I enjoy it, but, you know. Unless you want to ask me about the last ten minutes of this game, which I'm probably very good at. Can't really help you. Must have forgotten I only finished it once. Well, yeah. Farah, We had a sexy time dream with Farah while we were laying in an underground tomb uh, after solving that water puzzle. And when we came to, our fucking sword and sand knife were gone. If you're thinking of Twin Peaks, I did watch Twin Peaks very recently. Maybe I'm thinking of that. Laura Palmer. She's dead, wrapped in plastic. Good show. Shame about, you know, the producers forcing him to uh, finish it before he was ready. Okay, fuck off, bats. Uh, nope. Not what we're looking for. That's what we wanted. Uh, I need to watch season three of that, because I'm told season three is very good. 
I only, when I say I rewatched it, I mean I rewatched the first season and uh, the first half of the second season. You know, the parts that matter. I plan on watching Fire Walk with me soon here. But, uh, yeah, I definitely should see Season 3, because everything from what I've uh, heard from people said that Season 3 is excellent. Also, not to victim blame, Laura Palmer had it coming. Like, something was going to kill that poor girl at some point. There's no way she wasn't going to get murdered. Game sure ending is sadly fate of many good TV shows, not just Twin Peaks. Yeah. But, like, normally when it comes to a premature ending, it's... I don't know, it feels like it should have ended sooner. That one is a story of, like, he was pressured to finish the ending for Sweeps Week because everyone wanted to know and the network was hounding poor David Lynch uh, for the resolution. And he was like, that's not the story I want to tell. And they were like, nope, too bad. You're not getting money unless you finish the damn story. They didn't even want to end uh, season one without revealing who killed Laura Palmer. It ends on that cliffhanger of uh, Cooper getting shot. All right, we're back here. Can I just calmly wall jump down without... God fucking damn it! Ugh. Wait, that's not right. I didn't... Run it back! We're doing it again! <laughs> Welcome to the rest of the stream, unfortunately. Here I was wondering if the stream was going to fall short because I was nearly done with the game. Guess not. Uh... That said, I'm getting real good at this segment. Tell you what. Her Twin Peaks is good, have not seen it. Ah, well, I won't spoil it then. But no, uh... Stick with, can confirm, first season... Well, I, I kind of spoiled the... The ending of the first season. I have... Oh, for God's sakes. I highly recommend it, um... Yeah, watch watch season two until it's revealed who killed Laura Palmer. Uh, it's kind of bad after that. And then maybe check out season three. I've heard great things. Please, streamer, no spoilers of that show. Sorry. Uh, get, show came out in also like 1990, so... Forgive me if I assume people have seen it. I, I watched through it a second time was uh, what I was doing recently. Also, have you ever played um, Deadly Premonition? Because, let me tell you, if you've ever played De Deadly Premonition, you might as well have seen Twin Peaks. Follow up, if you've ever seen Twin Peaks, you might as well have played Deadly Premonition. They are very similar. None of the same people worked on it, but clearly Sweary, who uh, is responsible for Deadly Premonition had, like, just gotten done watching Twin Peaks and was super inspired by it, so he went and made a video game. That was basically the Twin Peaks video game. No. Eh, well. I won't spoil anything there either, but, uh, you're Francis York Morgan instead of Agent Dale Cooper in Deadly Premonition. I was considering playing it, actually, for, um, achievements, because it's not a bad completion. Nice, easy thousand gamer score. And I need something to do after I'm done with Bastion. Which I've currently started my score attack run for a million points. Ah, I have all the other achievements in Bastion. Damn shame the score attack didn't let me keep the, uh, the, the flamethrower. Because that weapon is busted once you get it all leveled up. I love it. Ah. Deadly Premonition, uh, other than its story being Twin Peaks. Um, gameplay is rough. It's really rough. To the point of I would... I'd go so far as to say is it's bad. The gameplay is bad. But the story and characters are very... It's quirky. It's weird. It's interesting. It's fun. It's dark. God, is it dark. Um... It kind of saves it. If you can get through the gameplay, which is pretty shithouse, you can probably enjoy Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. You can probably enjoy Deadly Premonition. I was three years old when that show came on. Oh, God. When was the show? 1990? 92? 
I do not remember. Watch it be like, it came out in 2000, you idiot. And I'm like, oh, it feels very 90s. When I think Twin Peaks, I think the 90s. I don't know what I was doing. I hit A when I should hit B. God damn it. Ugh. No, 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 that didn't Christ! Okay, well, you're old, you were older than me when the show came on. Ugh, I hate this bit. <laughs> this bit sucks. Uh, I was negative four when that show came on. Because I was born in 1994. If that surprises you, you're not alone. Everyone's kind of shocked about how young I am. I'm told I look and sound much older. But now nah, I'm only 26. I turned 27 this year. First episode of Twin Peaks was 1999. Sounds right. So I don't remember, you know, the the shock of the nation when uh, they were all waiting for who killed Laura Palmer, but apparently it was quite the phenomenon. My older sister likes to, or liked to tell me about it. I then watched the show myself and not exactly brought up again, but, you know. Ooh, if you've ever played Alan Wake, it's also very similar to that. Not for, you know, the horrible shadow men running around, but you know how the town in Alan Wake is, um, very sort of, like, quaint out in the middle of nowhere? They got that diner that everyone goes to, and there's a woman who is, like, always carrying a tea kettle or something? That's very Twin Peaks. It's almost like an homage to Twin Peaks. Diner is, in fact, I think in Alan Wake, modeled off of the Twin Peaks diner. Speaking of Alan Wake, uh, I played Control not that long ago, which is by the same people, full of Alan Wake references. Fun game. If you've ever read SCPs, it's basically that the game. <laughs> God, every good thing steals from other things, don't they? That's the world we live in. Couldn't tell you because I, at least I will, I think you're at least 30. Yeah, no, 26. The worst was I was maybe 20 years old, and I was working, like, my first, uh, it was just a college job. Uh, I was working in a grocery store as just a cashier. And, um, girl I was working with, uh, I let it slip that I was, like, 20. And, uh, she was shocked. She couldn't believe that I was not old enough to buy alcohol since the drinking age is 21. She's like, oh, I would have sold it to you in a heartbeat. I thought you were, like, 40. And I was very offended by that. I was like, all right, now, look. I get old a lot, but 40, I think, is a bit rude. Which was, good lord, that was seven years ago. Doesn't feel that long ago, does it? Okay, all right. So what is this? A uh, fifth attempt? Can we do it? We need to know. All I'm trying to do is wall jump down a building without falling and breaking my neck. It would be real nice if I was playing this on emulator so I could have those sweet, sweet save states. But no, this is the Steam version. God, it's so close. It's right there. Ah, I wish he could survive, like, a 30-story fall. Which is absurd, he can't. In real life, there's, like, what, a 50-50 chance of, fiving a four, of surviving a four-story fall? Which means it's, what, a 99% chance of three-story fall? I think that's how that math checks out. <clears throat> Possible uh, Alan Wake was a bit more of an homage to Twin Peaks, uh... Like, that show was and still is very popular, so it's possible it inspired a few other shows and games. Yeah, I mean, obviously Alan Wake came out, like, decades later, uh, after Twin Peaks, but very much inspired by the writings of Stephen King, and at least atmosphere-wise, also very much inspired by Twin Peaks in terms of the town and, like, the area around it. But a lot of shows and games are heavily inspired by Twin Peaks. It is not uncommon. God damn you! 
I know that's not how it happened. I hate this. I can't. I'm just mashing A, hoping he kicks off the walls, and he doesn't do it. He's supposed to wall jump down. Ah. Uh. It's so frustrating because it takes so long to get back there. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alan Wake was good. I hope they'll make a sequel for it. I mean, I hope so too. Uh, they, well, they kind of did. Uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. It's... Eh. That's a noise I never thought I'd make on stream. It exists. I can't say... First of all, it's about as long as you would expect an Xbox Live Arcade game to be. But, um... I mean, it had an interesting, like, time loop mechanic. Uh... Where you had to, like... I think you were running around near, like, an observatory, and, uh... You had to do the same thing, like, three times over, or, like, four times over throughout the course of the game. But you were in a time loop, so you remembered the answers every time you did it. And the people you spoke to in the game also, like, slowly started remembering you. It was interesting. It wasn't, you know, what I would say a good sequel, but it was an interesting little, you know, thing that they did. And then uh, Control happened, which was the same universe as Alan Wake. So, I mean, maybe there's hope for a sequel. You mean Control DLC? No, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Is that what happened in the Control DLC? Because I didn't play the DLC for it. Consecutive wall jump mechanics a bit of a bitch in this game, especially when it's going down. I've noticed, thank you. <laughs> I did not play the Control DLC. I only played the base game, because that's what was available for free on Game Pass. But yeah, no, the, um, the Alan Wake's American Nightmare was uh, literally, you're like in the forest... I think you go to a diner at one point, and I know you end at an observatory or planetarium, and you're stuck in a time loop where the world is ending. It might be, if it is the Control DLC, then that is probably uh, a direct reference to the American Nightmare uh, Xbox Live business. Because they really liked... I noticed they liked referencing Alan Wake a lot in um, uh, Control. They were like five or six references that you could find if you looked for them. I think his typewriter was meant to be one of the objects of power. Have not played Control DLC. Eh, neither have I. But yeah, after Alan Wake, they released on the Xbox Live Arcade. I don't know if it's even available anymore. Uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Which wasn't... Like I said, it's not half bad. It's not half good, either. It's just a thing. Not what people really wanted in terms of a sequel. Also, there is a game called Control, not DLC. Yeah, there is DLC for the game Control, Arg. I am aware of that. So when I say Control DLC, I am referring to the DLC for Controlled. I think there were, like, two DLCs. Because you're the, the, you're the Bureau of Control, right? The FBC, the Federal Bureau of Control or something like that. I literally just played it. It was on Game Pass. I got all the achievements. Not the DLC ones, but, you know, the main story ones. Had a good time with it. I think, uh, I think they needed to go a little bit more... I've talked about it before. Uh, the boss fights weren't great. Uh, they needed a bit more variety. I think it would have been more fun if they experimented with the objects of power a bit more. But overall, I really liked it. Alright, I made it. Thank Christ. All I needed to do. Just needed to talk about control while I did it. Okay, alrighty. Whew! Now just simply jump between- oh, for God's sakes! Bats! Let's 
Swarm around me. There we go. Swarm around. I seem to like swarming around when I don't have my sword out. hi -ya! <laughs> Alrighty. Awful decent of them to put two ladders here. Boy, I've never been happier to not do platforming in this game. Give me some good, honest combat where they just all die immediately with my mighty sword. You'll love to see it. Alright, could do without the murdering, thank you. Could really do without that. Alright, look, buddy. If you send me all the way back down, I am going to kill every one of you. I'm doing that anyway, but, you know. I'm actually going to find whoever programmed your AI and gun him down in the street with a sword. I love the little, like, flourish he does with his sword. You can sometimes hear him go... Alright. Uh, refresh. Oh my god, a save point. Thank you. Thank you, Lord of Persia. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Can I bust this? Hold on. That might be where I... Hmm. Okay. Figured, uh... Had to go around the wrong way. I'll buy Quantum Break later. I love Remedy games. Uh, Quantum Break. Oh yeah, Quantum Break. God, I, uh, haven't thought about Quantum Break in ages. That's the one where, um, it's a TV show, right? Like, it's both, um, every time you progress the game, you get, like, a little TV show episode or cutscene or whatever. Or am I thinking of a different game? I think that was Quantum Break. Alright, well, that's not the way to... <laughs> Uh, that didn't happen. Not the way to go. Okay, so this is not the way to go. Got it. No, no, no. That didn't happen. Hmm. But it seems like this is the way to go. But it isn't. Or is it? It is not the way to go. All right, I'll go back the other way. Unless I can't go which the, this way, in which case that is the way to go. Okay, I can't go this way. Or is Quantum Break the, um... Is that one the horror game? Where, like, you're on a spaceship, space station, and it's fucking with, like, perception of reality? They very famously have, like, the objects that are, like, coffee cups that can be mimics and they'll attack you. Fine, I'll save again, since you dragged me in here, game. Uh, saving? The story from here Quantum time. Break, god. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Quantum Break's the, uh, one... I don't remember much about it, but I remember that there's, like, in between the chapters of the story, there's, um... They shot it like it was a TV show. There it goes. Ah. That's not how it happened. Now it's gonna kill me until I remember it. Quantum Break. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. I remember it was, uh mixed in terms of reception. Some people were really into the uh, TV show aspect that they had going on in between the episodes, or in between the levels. Other people were like, I don't really think we needed this. A oh, follower? Thank you, Fatal Framer. You are a shrewd negotiator. You strike me as such. So negotiate shrewdly. And there's my death again. Jesus Christ. Do I drop down just from the ledge? Because th I keep trying the same thing, and it's not working. Lord of Persia, uh, as in king of it, is dead. I killed him. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I did. Maybe maybe keep that on the down low, Arg. I don't want to get arrested for that. <clears throat> uh, as for God of Persia, the era of the game, I guess God of Persia is worshipping fire and light. Uh, Zoroastrianism. Oh, God, yeah. It might be. Zoroastrianism. Boy, there's one of the, uh... There's one of the, uh... Lesser-functioning-these-days religions, huh? 
I think there's still a few Zoroastrians kicking around. But, like, I'm pretty sure they're few and far between. Okay, so I can get up there at some point. Not that way. It, ah, where the hell does it want me to go? Might be able to get over there. I certainly can't make that jump. Wall running, no matter how many times I try it, is not working. What does the vision say? Help me out. Because I didn't pay close attention. Enlighten me. Alright, let's see. Nope, swinging on those. Walking. Wall jumping. Jumping out to something. Ladders. Well, that didn't help. Helped not at all. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty then. Hmm. Unanswered. Quantum Break, Steam version performance better than Microsoft Store. Really? They're both PC. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> That surprises me. I figure, like, you know... I guess the one on the store could just be this still isn't working. I, I, I'm i not going to do that again, because I have no idea what the fuck the game wants me to do. Uh, the... I'm surprised... Sorry, yeah, I've said that. Um, I guess if... Um, all the Windows Store one was, like, just a port of the Xbox One version. That could be the case. But it seems like since they're both PC versions, you just, you know, take that and put them on the stores. Still a practice religion. Followers aren't as many these days as in the past. But if I'm not mistaken, Freddie Mercury was a practicer of it. Well, practitioner of it. I mean, good for him. Freddie Mercury. Oh, there's a poll here. Okay. Yeah, okay, now I see. I had to look around. Freddie Mercury was a weird dude, though. Didn't he, like, ask to buy the Turkish House of Parliament or something like that? <laughs> Admittedly, I don't think he knew the building was the House of Parliament, but I, I can't remember if it was Turkey or Nepal or something. But he saw a really lovely building, and he's like, ooh, I want to buy that one. And they said, we're honored, but that's our House of Parliament. <laughs> He's like, so it's not for sale, then. Man was a visionary, don't get me wrong. His music's fantastic. I love the guy. But let's not beat around the bush. The man was weird. Sometimes it takes a weirdo, though, to create great things. David Bowie was a weirdo. Love him as well. Hmm. I think I'd rather just run along the wall if it's all the same to you, game. Alright, here we are. Well, okay, hold on. Come on, princey boy. Okay, uh, so I think it wants me to wall jump. Yep, okay. Alright, wall jumping up is a lot easier than the controlled wall jump down. So I could run that way, or what's this way, real quick. Oh, water, cool. I don't, I don't need it, but hey, thanks. I appreciate the drink. I could run that way, I think. Is it worth it? Nope, doesn't seem like I can't! I'm in the same pit! Ah! Curse my hubris! Okay, it put me here. Had to put me back in the same pit just to be like, Haha, bet you thought you'd made progress, huh? Oh, god damn it with the bats. Weird dude. Also very genius. Uh, every genius like him it has a bit of weird things. Yeah, obviously. Weird is not always a bad thing. You gotta be willing to be, uh, you know, a little bit weird and different to stand out. And, uh, if it works for you, then by God, does it work for you. Doesn't work for you, well, 
At least you tried, right? <clears throat> uh, not sure about buying Parliament Building. Didn't he leave his fortune to his cat or something? Not exactly. Uh, he... Ernest Hemingway, I think, left everything to his cats, but that dude was also really weird. Um, no, I think... Um, Well-known Freddie Mercury was gay, and he did marry a... Uh, I think AIDS is what killed him, actually. Uh, he was happily married to uh, another man. However... There was a woman in his life that he considered uh, not only his best friend, but more or less his soulmate. And um, I believe he left everything to her. Like, he loved his husband and everything, but he considered the woman who, like, helped him be who he was and supported him while starting, you know, Queen. I believe he considered her to be, like, his true soulmate. So he left it to a woman he was not married to, was the idea. I might be remembering that wrong, but uh, he definitely gave her a better goodbye, send off, I'll miss you, than he did his husband uh, after he passed. I'm sure his husband's doing fine. He probably owns, you know, part of the Mercury estate. So, you know, not exactly uh, hurting, I wager, unless he, you know, blew all the money. Drugs or something. Can't say I'm terribly familiar, but, um, yeah, no, I know. Oh, shit! <laughs> I know Hemingway left his uh, stuff to his cats. The Hemingway house in Florida is like um, a huge cat reserve. What a conversation to be having during this epic. Oh, jeez. Right in the hand, huh? That blood. Super realistic. Rewind time, you idiot. We've done it 900 times before. Or did she use all the sand? She did not use... Oh, well, yeah, she did. Still can't jump over you guys, huh? You go down in one hit, so that's nice. Wish I had this sword when I had to kill my father. There's a sentence. Stop blocking, you jackass. Disagree that that hit me, but all right, sure. I'm sure she's fine, just, you know, bleeding out on the floor, so. Give me a hot second. Actually, this sword has taken away uh, something rather interesting from the combat. I can no longer regain sand by pinning them down. I just kill them in one or two hits. Provided I can actually hit them. Yeah, like that. Seven, nine, what's up, dude? Shit. Alright, come on now. Oh, I'm out of sand, shit. Well, seven, nine, you distracted me. We're blaming that death on seven, nine. I found a way better sword that kills everything in one hit. Guys, come on. It'd be nice if they didn't block, though. Despite, you know, me being able to kill them in one hit. Because I don't have any sand. She used all the damn stuff. No, no. So I gotta kill these guys without them blocking me. I suppose I could just sort of, you know, pick my openings. Since they all go down in one hit. Uh. Really? Okay, thank you. hate when they sweep the floor sandless run in the sands of time I find that hard since I think you have to use it at some point I've thought about doing a um, 
a heart gold and soul silver catchless run. Because I think the game gives you enough Pokemon, if you know where to look, that uh, you can actually get away with that. Alright, well, I'm just dead. I am dead. Mr. Party Party's stream where a jumping mechanic kicked my ass for a little while. Yep, that's true. It's 100% true. I spent like six attempts doing that, and it took me like five or six minutes to get back to each attempt. So it was super fun to watch, I bet. Had a nice long discussion about uh, the Fatal Frame games and Twin Peaks and Alan Wake. Stop sweeping the damn leg! I don't. Stop it! Stop sweeping the leg! I can't guard against it! Or yeah, if you're gonna sweep the leg, do it from all the way over there. God damn it! That's not how it happened. Even though I can kill him in one hit, Favorite Pokemon main series game? Ooh, uh, uh. In terms of, like, to play, or in terms of, like, uh, no, I guess. Sapphire is probably my favorite, because while Gold was the first one I ever played, Sapphire was, like, a huge improvement, in my opinion. Um, I got childhood nostalgia for that. The best game, I would say, is Heart Gold because it is a remake of the very first one I played, so it's also very nostalgic for me. And it has, you know, the Gen 4 mechanics of we've split physical and special, so... I acknowledge that the Gen 4 games are better, but just for my own nostalgia's sake, I prefer the Gen 3 games. You can always jump during the leg sweeps. Can I? Not while I'm blocking. And if I, I can't jump, I, if I'm lucky if I r flip backwards, mainly I roll is the problem. And the rolls are so fucking unpredictable. I might be able to jump over them while they do the leg sweeps, now that I think about it. Or at the very least, that will interrupt the leg sweeps. Come on, guys. Get away from the hole now. You good over there, or what? What's, what's the deal? Pfft. <laughs> That guy was great. Walked right up to me and got hit once. This guy? Preferably they do like their... They have like a big overhead swing. Yeah, that. Preferably they do that because then it's... Well, or that. Because then it's super easy to get them. Meanwhile, if they leg sleep each other and knock them down on their fucking faces, that's fine too. No qualms there, game. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, god damn. I thought they were the last two. I don't know why I thought that. It was clearly wrong. Okay, there we go. Uh, interpret as you see fit. Uh, well, what about you, 7-9? What's your favorite? Gameplay-wise, very difficult for me pick, uh, to play without the physical special split. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's always fun to go back to Sapphire for me. In fact, I have my Game Boy Advance SP right here with Sapphire loaded up into it for that very reason. But I always need to, like, adjust my brain when I'm picking my team. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, it's weird that... Uh, Bayonet's attack is so high. It's a ghost type, and it was like Shadow Ball and shit. And then I remember Ghost was physical for some batshit reason, so Bayonet's actually a valid choice in that game. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Uh, meanwhile, Breloom sucks shit because it's like, oh yeah, it was one grass move that's absorbed and its special is garbage. Then they split it, and I could teach it shit like, you know, Leaf Blade, where it was a physical grass move, and it's like, uh, uh, suddenly it's a very good Pokemon now. Uh, had ten cats, only one is annoying. <laughs> black and White 2 is my favorite, followed by Platinum. Never played Black and White 2. Or Platinum. 
I am told platinum is very different from diamond and pearl. And I will give you power. Eternal life. I don't want that. No one wants that. Eternal life's lame. Live forever. And those I loved are dead and I to blame. Partly to blame. I choose death. Really the vizier's fault, I'd say. What a what's he Okay, wow. <laughs> spider man my way up there. It's the end of the game? Because if so, this is uh, only half a stream. I might have to start uh, No More Heroes early. Seems very finale-esque. I'm rewinding everything back to the very moment it was... Where am I? How far back did I go? Well, I've got the dagger, but I'm just... So I've already conquered her. I'm just hanging out, though. It's clearly before I made it to that one palace in India. Where is he going? He was at camp! Everyone was there! Don't have faith. Pokemon game. Uh, I played a few. Feet! But there are so many different games and the anime series and other stuff that is part of Pokemon franchise. I never got into the whole thing. Do, not be afraid. Do you remember me, or...? This belongs to you. The dagger of time. But it is locked away within my father's temple. Damn, nice outfit. Most people think time is like a river. Flows swift and sure in one direction, but I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. <laughs> How poetic! I wonder who I am and why I say these things. Sit down, and I will tell you the tale like none. I was telling it to her. My God, she probably got real annoyed when I got to those, and then you shot me in the face like five times, bits. Huh. <sighs> We're just sitting on the floor. Couldn't like pull up a chair or something, a table. Get, get some drinks. I am a simpler version, a Persian soldier lusting for glory. Entered the chamber of the Maharaja's daughter and was slain. That's a good twist. Now it's boss fight time. Hell yeah! I got a sword that kills everything in one hit, bitch. Give her a bow and arrow. She's sometimes really good with that. I will handle this intruder. Will you? I have no idea. Oh shit, what the fuck? Two of you! What sorcery is this? Stop this at once! My lady. Milady. Why is his voice so like sexy and smooth? He will betray you. Everyone else sounds like they were recorded on like a telephone a week away from each other. And like you get to him and it's like he's a Persian soldier. My my voice box is made of chocolate butter and pudding. Smooth. This is a fucking thrilling fight, by the way. I mean it will happen. I appreciate that we're also like, we have a whole room and we're fighting two feet from her cowering behind a plant. <laughs> uh, it's great. I love it. Uh, he's hoping the boss fight isn't as bad as Pops. Well, he's by himself and I have way more health. I also have a better understanding of how mechanics of the game work. So, you know, already things are looking better. Oh, I don't have my cool sword anymore. Aw, oh, damn it. I don't think he's done damage yet. Have I not? Is him, like, lighting up like that not damage? That's gotta be right. Yeah, that's damage. Your exertions are most amusing. Who am I fighting now, huh? Another one of you? Interesting. Let him be brought before my father. He will judge. Surely my knowledge of the palace will reveal Vizier, the truth, I right? Have commanded you to stop. Do you disobey? I've taken orders long enough. 
from a senile fool and a sniveling rat. Your father was a great warrior in his youth, or so he would have the world to leave. A pity his son does not take after him. Well, I mean, I beat Perhaps stage one. Ah, alike. It would appear that both showed a taste for easy plunder. All right, fuck you. Also, are you talking about my butt? What little you possess. What little you possess. The joke is because you're super old. But I guess it's like a snake staff and everything. You don't have one hit kill sword anymore. Yep, he's a wizard, so magic doesn't seem very magic. Just kind of seems like, you know, a single clone. Bam. Yeah, it doesn't seem that magical. In theory, it's not as bad as the pops really fight. Think you could defeat me? Yeah, I still think that. <laughs> Do I smack you now? No, nope. you're just always yep. protected by a buggle. Don't buggle. Protected by a bubble. Such magic, yeah. I mean, the first time it's impressive, but oh wow, what's this? A third cl single clone in a room that spins his staff at me sometimes? I mean, I'd hire this guy too if I were the Maharaja, but not to be my ultimate advisor, to like, entertain party guests or something. And even then, I'd have to investigate to make sure he doesn't just have a twin brother that he's trying to pull a fast one with. Because all he's doing is just summoning a clone of him. He's not, like, shooting fire. He's not, you know, summoning wind or anything. He does have a magic shield. All right, that's... Cool, I guess. Maybe I'd have him, you know, help me in, like, battle situations. Put that shield around me. That sort of thing. Any water in the room to heal while he's monologuing? Eh, maybe. I don't really need it. <laughs> like, look at my health. I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape. And he is, uh, he's not exactly skilled swordsman getting at me here. There does not appear to be any water, however. His shield is down! Get him! Oh, fuck. So is there another stage to that, or does he just really suck? I'm here for the floor water. I don't think we had any floor water since you showed up, 7-9. We've had my voice crack, though, because I'm going through puberty at age 26. <laughs> that was it? How will he feel? <coughs> he really wasn't just an old man who could, like, make a clone of himself. I just sliced him down. I feel kind of bad about that, actually. Didn't give him a chance. He was a traitor. Take this. Return it to your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. Why did I go back to there, I wonder? Such a fantastic story. Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? Yeah, that's it. Wow, all right, fresh. I said I owe you thanks. You presume to She's kind of jacked. Do you see that one arm? Oh, wow, he fucking. Wow. Do you think me a child Slick. That I would believe a little bit weird, actually. There's part of me that admires the, uh, the gall, but, uh, Wait. less so the, uh, the implication of that. Just call me Kakulukia. Oh, shit! How did he know that? That was a great game, actually. They put the hardest part of the game in the middle. Yeah, they really did. Not even the middle, the beginning, like, quarter of the game. I wasn't even 25% of the way done, according to save file progress. That fight was garbage. Not the final boss fight. That wasn't anything to write home about, either. That was absurdly easy. I mean, it's not like the hourglass had opened up, so there were no sand warriors or anything. Uh, yeah, alright. Well, that was Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. That was a good game. Bravo. Solid, solid game all around. I still have, uh, like, over an hour left of streaming. I think I'm gonna get, um, 
I think I'm gonna load up the Switch here and buy um, No More Heroes real quickly. So hopefully I can start streaming that. It needs to update, fantastically. What will go faster, credits of a 2003 game or updating the Switch and installing uh, <laughs> No More Heroes? Is that the new Pog? Is that why you guys keep doing that? It kind of loses some sting when I don't even know what emote that is. How is that a Pog? Oh, okay. It's someone in glasses. I thought it was giant anime eyes that were like watery and shit. I see now, it's someone in glasses. A lot of, a lot of voice cast credit. Italian, German, Spanish. I guess there were like five people in the game, so they can afford to name all of them. Uh, eShop. You finally did stretch four and a half hour long gameplay to five streams. Good for you. I think it was four streams. I don't think it was five. And even then, let's be fair here. It was half a stream, this last one. Whatever it is. No. Uh. More. Good song at the end, too. No More Hero. I already have. <laughs> no More Heroes 3 to be released in 2020. Yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, there isn't a... Uh, God, there's no combo for uh, No More Heroes 1 and 2. They're both $20. That's annoying. What are you going to do, though? Shit. Well, I was able to buy the game. It hasn't started downloading yet. Uh. I'm probably going to need to shift some data around. Hey, Spiral, what's up? Also, Kaida, hey, what's up there? Just beat Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Uh, currently, if you look at the old Switch, you'll see if I can get some glare off it. There it is. Um, I am installing No More Heroes as we speak, hopefully to start up the stream, uh, there. Not enough space, damn it. Alright. Uh, gonna have to manage it real quick here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's archive those. That'll do. All right, now it's going. Now it's going, okay. Uh, I too arrived just as you finished Sands of Time. Kaida likes to pog whenever I beat a game. You actually beat it, dang, I missed it. It's all on YouTube. I'll make sure I, um, I'll make sure I stop the stream before I start up No More Heroes so it can be a separate video. But all right, now we're just gonna, we're just gonna hang out for a bit and uh, chat until this is done installing and I'll play No More Heroes for a bit. Get that started. Oh, I know what I can do. I can, um, hold on. Uh, I can't do it on stream, but I can talk to you while I do it. I need to, uh, plug in my, uh, my switch to my capture card. Uh, let's see here. Hi, I'm right over here. Uh, where's the HDMI cable for that? There it is. Swap it with my Xbox. All right, that was difficult. Cool. Capture card's plugged in. Ah, nice. That's all set up. How much time did that kill? Whew, not enough. Signed up for voice acting workshop, so I'm happy about that. Good job, bravo. I want to do that, but I'm a coward. And don't have money. Or free time, so, you know. I could make some free time if I really needed to. I have Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, and I can go, like, during the morning for a VA workshop. Maybe after the pandemic. I feel like that's something I kind of want to do one-on-one uh, -on -one and not, you know over a, uh, a digital thing, which I have no idea what yours is, but I assume it's a digital thing. Do it. I really want to. Voice acting would be super fun for me. The, the little bit I've done with, like, some various internet projects, I always love doing. 
No one ever commits, though. I've never, like, completed a project. I've only gotten, like, halfway through everything. It's never my fault, though. It's always, you know, the people making it just crap out on it. What are you gonna do? The only the only thing I can say, voice acting, that I've made it all the way through was, um... I fully voice acted my Miles Edgeworth 2 playthrough on YouTube, which is like a hundred parts. They're 20 minutes each, I think. Maybe 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, be, be warned if you're gonna go ahead and do that. If you're gonna go ahead and watch that. I'm also an idiot when I play that game. <clears throat> I'll check it out. It's a super long playthrough and I'm very dumb, so bear with me. But it was fun voice acting it. When I get around to playing uh, Phoenix Wright on the channel, which I plan to do because it's easy achievements uh, and it's content, um, I will uh, I'll absolutely voice act that. Because it's super fun to voice act those games. Ah, uh, the judge. Who doesn't love the judge? I was wondered who do you think Stan would be voiced by? You've asked me this question before, and I've told you me would be the correct choice. That said, uh, if I'm not available, or they look at me and they go, "No, you're an idiot. Stop, stop suggesting yourself." Um, <laughs> Mark Hamill, sort of for a Joker-esque vibe, I think. At least for Shadow. In terms of human Stan, it would probably be different. But I think Mark Hamill would do a. Uh, Going for sort of a Joker vibe would be a good Evil King Stan. I should, uh, I should turn on my, uh, my actual Wii U, or Wii U, my, uh, God, can you imagine? Somebody with a Wii U in this day and age? I should turn on my, uh, my TV here so that I can, uh, dust off the old controller. Compressed air, ladies and gentlemen. Great for dusting. Not great for huffing. Don't do that. Ah. And I've got that all booted up. Just waiting for it to download. It's, this feels weird. The Pro Controller feels so weird to my hand because I've been holding the Series X controller this whole time. Ah. Or, you know, even the 360 controller, which feels more normal in my hands than the Series X controller next to this Wii, or the goddamn Pro Controller for the Switch. Ace Attorney games are on Steam, Phoenix Wright ones at least. Yeah, but I want it on Xbox so I can get the achievements and the gamer score. Duh. Uh, to be fair, you're only the s two... You're you're one if the t of the two people I can ask and know what I'm talking about. That's fair. Pick for Stan would be Frank Welker. Yeah, that's more of a cartoony vibe, though. I feel like Frank Welker would be better suited for, like, Bull, you know? In my opinion. The Judge is a bit of a comedic character in the Ace Attorney games. Yeah, obviously. He's my favorite. The Judge is delightful. One of my favorite lines ever is, um... It's the third game, and they're talking about a brooch, I believe. It might be the second game. But, uh, they mention a brooch. And the Judge just goes, A bridge! Bailiff, get my steed! We ride at dawn! <laughs> and it's like... Why? <laughs> judge, you're not... Huh? <laughs> It's just an old-timey, like, cavalry commander who retired and became a judge for no fucking reason. It's the best. Oh, I love it. Uh, game choice. Oh, shit. 7-9. What game are you requesting there? Mr. 30,000 channel points. Flexing on that way like that. Yeah, you have to, you have to tell me what game you want played there with your channel points. I can't just... I can't interpret with your mind here what it is you want me, uh, playing. Meanwhile, I should, um... Uh-oh, it went silent on me. Uh, I need to, uh... Get the, uh, get the game ready and set up. I mean, I'm gonna end the stream, so it's a separate video. Just know it says game choice and not game chochsi. God damn it. Black White 2 Nuzlocke. I don't have Black and White 2. Um, I'll need to find an emulator or a ROM of it. I have a DS emulator. But, um, yeah, I can do a Black and White 2 Nuzlocke. I will add it to the list. Uh, it will probably be after... I'm not going to do it right now, obviously. Uh, I'm about to do No More Heroes. Uh, I want to do Okage after this. How about I do it after Okage? 
No rush. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I can do it after Okage. The black and white two Nuzlocke. The only time I would, um, like, interrupt the game I'm going to do next is if, uh, the bit goal up above me was reached. Oh, I gotta, I gotta change my layout for, uh, what's about to happen here. As you can see, though, I can, hold on. I can, uh, alt-tab out of here, because I have to in order to get to my fucking streaming software. Uh, if I hide the, uh, game capture and the, the old, the sleeping image of poor little token there... Uh, all sleepy in his little bed. Uh, you can see that... Oh, wow, that's completely... Why isn't it... What's with the framing? I guess because it was left over from Prince of Persia. Uh, but yeah, the, res the resolution's all weird right now. Gotta, gotta fix that. Uh, that looks good. Okay. I'm going to be back in one hot second. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to end the stream so it's a separate video. And uh, I'm going to come right back and uh, we're going to start up No More Heroes. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>